Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 8th, 2023. Just on my way into school where I work as an EA, educational assistant. I feel honored and blessed that God has chosen me to influence these precious little children before they hit the real world and are exposed to all this evil wickedness by the prince of this world, Satan. Jesus has already overcome the world and we know the end. I read the end of the book, our great book, the Bible, and Satan's already lost. However, it's the going through and the enduring that is important. Uh, so this morning I just wanted to share something that I was just having a discussion with my daughter Rodoria about. And it's these statements that we make. I, I said something, I forget what I said, oh my goodness. And I was like, isn't that a weird statement after I said it? aware of the words that exited my lips and I said you know do you ever think about where these statements come from like who made these statements up and why do we say them like they're facts like they're actual reality they're not one of my best friends she <laughs> makes this statement every single time I talk to her on the phone no I'm not exaggerating she says this oh my gosh you gotta try these these chicken wings they're to die for oh my gosh I went to this place and this restaurant they had the best cheesecake you ever ate it's to die for oh my gosh you gotta taste this steak they make the best ribeye steak it's to die for really are you gonna die for a hunk of meat yet you can't even stand up for your friend or you know, your loved one, you're just gonna wipe your hands clean. And say, no, I'm done with them. They're dead to me. Really? Like some of the statements that we make, we need to really think. I say them all the time. I, I actually, I can't remember what I said, but I said something and it was so stupid. And I immediately caught myself and I said to Adoria, wow, that's a pretty stupid statement I just said. You know, like, you ever think about the words that we say? Because I say some pretty stupid things sometimes, and they're just catchphrases that we say, and they have no value, yet we place emphasis and value on them. And, you know, the Bible says, life and death is in the power of our tongue. So we can either curse people with the words that we speak, or we can bless people. And, you know, I want to bless people. I want every word that exits my lips to edify everyone around me. To encourage, to uplift, to bring life. So, today, my challenge to myself is to be mindful of every word I utter out of these lips. I challenge you to do the same.